Talking about the big change from Saturday to today. Yeah, I'm crazy. I'm loving it. I don't know about you oh, guys. Oh, yeah, but I think redrop. a lot of us are wondering what's to come. Do yeah. we need to get out there and <laughs> cover mm -hmm. up some of our plants? Uh, you know, and we're not going to have a hard, hard killing freeze in Oklahoma City. El Reno might, you know, 28, 29 there. If you live in a low-lying area or a valley or a sheltered area, uh, you'll upper 20s. And how many hours do you think it's going to last? Well, three, you know? or three or four. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. so it's a it's a light freeze for most of us. If you live in northern and northeastern Oklahoma, it's going to be a hard killing freeze. At least it's certainly going to try. So if you're worried about your plants, you're like, ah, you know what, hang on a little bit longer. Use a cloth, sheet, newspaper, cover them up, water them before you do that. By the way, that'll insulate, that'll put moisture back in the ground, that higher humidity underneath the sheet and the plastic will keep the uh, air temperatures from dropping or completely bottoming out. Apply a little mulch and uh, unhook. Uh, your garden hoses. That's a good yeah. one right there. That's so, an easy one to forget this time of year. Yeah, but really, uh, still water, Ponca, over to Tulsa. Uh, that's where you really need to watch out okay. for that. You know, get here in Oklahoma City down to 31 coming up Wednesday morning. So uh, that won't do it. That's that's not cold enough. But anyway, there you go. It's that time of year. And by the way, our average first freeze date in Oklahoma City is November 4th. So this is a uh, couple of weeks early, All right? But uh, hey, it is what it is. Two years ago. Two years ago at this time, oh, ice storm was taking shape, Arctic air, and nah, not this year. No. We're talking about thunderstorms down the road. Here in Oklahoma City, looking out across the metro, you can see a little bit of color from time to time. Our fall color, we don't peak out until the really the first 10 to 12 days uh, of November. So we have more time to go before the leaves, the leaves really, really change big time. 60 in Oklahoma City, part of our Pike Pass Sky Chem Network. Looking all right. North wind at 17, a little breezy. You see the old flag there moving. Our humidity, 20%. Look at the dew points running in the teens. So this is big time Canadian dry air, and it's just going to get drier, which means our temperatures are going to get colder, and it's going to be much, much cooler tomorrow. Right? 60 in Guthrie, 61 in Norman, 60 in Chandler, and the rest of Oklahoma, 50s across the north, 60s elsewhere, even some mid-60s down in the Hollis area. We look good, 63 in Ardmore and a 62 up in Alba. The rain we had over the weekend was good, but it is long gone and quiet, right? North winds bringing in that Canadian air at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. The breeze will come down this evening quite a bit, but we're still going to have a light breeze overnight tonight, and it's all because of what's coming out of Canada with the jet stream. You're looking at the jet stream winds there with the arrows. Upper storm in the Great Lakes. They've had snow. They've had rain in the Great Lakes. Actually, some heavy snow up here going on up there, but for us, uh, we're going to be even cooler for tomorrow and our coldest night, cold tonight, coldest night will be coming up Wednesday morning. Coldest we've been since last April. That's what's coming our way. Look at these temperatures right now. 38 in Minneapolis, 43 currently in Chicago. So the real cold air will be from Oklahoma really to the east and northeast through tomorrow, through tomorrow night into your Wednesday morning and then beginning really Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Big warm up ahead. Storm system next week right now looks pretty good. The timing is a little bit off. Is this going to be a Monday deal or a Tuesday deal? Leaning more towards Tuesday of next week with a wave of showers and thunderstorms. If we can get the instability a little bit higher, might have a little severe weather as well. All right, 30 in Guthrie tonight. A light freeze there. 33 in Piedmont. 35 in from uh, Midwest City. 35 in Shawnee. So again, near freezing, but above freezing for most of Oklahoma City tonight. Below freezing across the north. Look at Miami tonight, 23 for the low. So there you go with my freeze uh, warning going on or my freeze zone, if you will, for tonight from Canadian County north across northern Oklahoma, a light freeze, all right, and then a hard killing freeze in northeastern Oklahoma. Let's talk about tomorrow's highs, low to mid-50s. That is it. We're going to be cold in the morning. We'll be cool in the afternoon with the north wind. And then look at Wednesday morning, 29 in Guthrie. 30 in Mustang, 28 in El Reno, 31 in Midwest cities. So not a hard freeze, but a freeze, okay? 21 in Miami coming up Wednesday morning. Wow, 26 in Ponca City. So a pretty good hard freeze across the north, a hard killing freeze here, light freeze elsewhere, and some frost in the west. It's coming. All right, so a couple of cold mornings, big warm-up Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Next chance of rain and storms right now looks pretty good. Monday into Tuesday of next week. We are watching that.